It's the Alubond Abu Dhabi T10 powered by Sky247.net and we are at uh, Abu Dhabi of course, match number 11, the Bangla Tigers up against the Northern Warriors. It's time to take a look at the Dream 11 team lineups and Niall O'Brien alongside me to run through the unchanged teams. Niall, evening to you. The Arabians didn't lose a wicket in their 10 overs and only posted 103 and the Tigers were way too good and then last night. Yeah, really, really powerful, top class. Swing and a miss. Picked up 54 in the first game, Lendl Simmons. Oh, pinch one straight away here. Chance at the bowler's end. No, he's going to get five. He's going to get five. Oh, that's the way to break the old... Uh... Karim Janet it was. Oh, well. So, Kay's Ahmed backing up. Let's have a look at this. What, what, what does a five look like? Yeah, there we go. Can't have a man there. Halfway up the bank. What a response. Get pinned. Bang. Six. Next ball. That's a good, good connection. Big hit. Oh, goodness me. That sounded so good. This man has come in and started. Oh, like a rocket. Fantastic striking. Good shot. Good from Simmons. I think the frustration for people and, and for myself watching Lendl Simmons is just that Brampton Wall, Trinado, Trinbago Knight Riders. Can't finish. So it's going all the way. I'm out of breath. He's going to be out. Oh, he's out. He's gone. Into the wind. And Mujib, who's had a lot of catches dropped off from the tournament so far. Finally, Adam Hose hangs on to one. Hangs in the night sky. It's a pretty simple catch. It's a big wicket. Got it, got it flat, hard, all the way up onto the bank from... Yeah, a little shuffle, that's fine. Commitment, good. No overly aggressive swing. Pulls this one into the wind, but long enough. And away for six, the first six of the night for Nicholas Perrin. Final leg was inside the ring, just helps on his way, it's a good shot. Catch it. It's really nice wrong end, but he's going to get away with it here, Nicholas Perrin. Nicholas pouring a little bit of width, but it's pretty okay. good bowling. That's T10 for you. Oh, yes. oh, it's just the sound. It's just the sound from last night. Well, the most sixes in the Abu Dhabi T10. Nicholas Poor has now got 50 of them. And again, downwind, downhill, over top of our camera tower, or right beside it. Let's have a close look at this. That's a good shot. Really good sweep shot. High, high, long enough, downwind, onto the bank once again. Six more. Well, and again, at the front of town, not much behind that. Great movie. Behind point, and away to the boundary for four. Second boundary for him, this is nice. Again, timing, gets in a good position. Have a look at the wrists again that you spoke about, Dooley. Yeah, uses the hands, uses the wrists. Not there. Not there. Thank you very much. That's in the dugout, rubbing more salt into the Tigers' wounds. The bounce is pretty true as well, and that means they can do exactly this, hit through the line of the ball with confidence. And now Afan into Poran. And the same thing occurs. Has that gone all the way? Yeah, they're actually going to call it six as well. Just shows you the timing that this guy has. He is such an excitement when it comes to the white ball cricket. And it's very hard to contain when Poran's doing this. He gets down, he sweeps him like he was a spinner. And he goes short this time. Poran swings, it's up in the air. It's with the wind, it's gone all the way. Three more sixes. I just think the tactics are completely wrong here by Irfan. Now, poor Annel's moved on to 48 from 14. These are the last three balls. Might have a long gone. Hoyed away over square leg. And then pulled away. As you can see, didn't get a hold of that. There's mystery spinning, spinning deliveries. Oh! 
50 for Nicholas Poran. He thought he got more of that when he hit the ball. His teammates stand and applaud. You see, he mishit this. He went down to Longon. Watch the fielder run around. This poor end is 56 from 18. He's certainly one of them. And now Simmons. Has he managed to get this out of the ground? He has. Yeah, Lendl Simmons has gone. Enough, enough, Nicholas. Let me just show you what I can do as well. He's striking it at 200, but you've got to feel for Majib. Four catches dropped as this one goes to the boundary as well. This is the last ball. Smashed down the ground. It was a full toss. It could have gone for six, but he hit it for four instead. And this one's crunched over the offside. Good fielding down on the rope, but has he done enough? No. He really is in the form of his life. I think you've got to really try and go for that wide Yorker. Oh, here we go again. Right on a left. You can't bowl there to Poran. George Garn has got a look on his face like, what do I do next? Oh, here we go again. It's an absolute hidden display. It's like going to the driving range for Nicholas Poran. Six more huge smiles from the bench. It was short, he tried to change the length garden, just helped over the line. Oh, Here we go again. <laughs> garden just isn't learning, it's short again. It's the same shot, he's not got a hold of this one at all, but it's still 10 yards back on the bank. I actually think they are literally swapping the balls as they go back over. Someone's out there, get some more people on that bank. Neither's fault. Where do you bowl to Nicholas Poran at the moment? From 23. And we are now witnessing the most amount of maximums by a batter in an in innings. 12 sixes. Garten to finish is over. It's smashed again to the leg side. This isn't going to go for six. Let's just have a look at that last over then. Started with the four over the offside, and we went into um, into poor hand mode. It was just clean striking all the way. It doesn't matter where Garten was going to pitch the ball, whether it was full, whether it was short. I still think it was all in the hitting arc. But this looks like it could be a wicket. Skied up in the air, long off, runs in, takes the catch. I think there's a little bit of a relief, isn't there? The first miss hit that we've seen in, in a few hours, especially since we've come on. So the second wicket falls to the Warriors, 144 on the board. Oh, and Poran's gone, has he? The field has claimed it. Problem is, these catches never look great when it comes to replays. So a spinner's going to finish off the innings. And he's going to start the over with a maximum. Case, come on, Case. The last over, Case Ahmed gets this opportunity. Tries on, to bowl Case. it into the pitch. There's another, another one as well. Good heat this time. Top Case. edge. I think he's called for it. Yeah, because he bowls at absolute heat. Catch it, catch it. And the innings finishes with ah, a wicket. With the bumper theory lease. Yeah, tried to go short again, didn't quite get it. George Garten, just look at his reaction. Northern Warriors, what an outstanding performance we've seen from them. Lendl Simmons with 41 off 22. Wazim out early, 12 from 5. What a job for these two gentlemen to have to do. Andre Fletcher left of screen. Johnson Charles right. Bit of swing straight away for Wahab. Bowled him. Head in the air, swing and a miss. Full and straight from Wahab. It's, yeah, it's a slog. It really is a slog. Oh. 
will go away for four, I think. A couple of bounces and into the boundary for four. If they're going to have these types of T10, T20 tournaments, local players playing, so then develops that talent. This one's high in the air, away over third man for six. Not been able to move, so he's going to have to generate some pace. At the moment, he's got pace on the ball, so can't move too freely because of that injured quad. Lovely, really nice shot. Sits it away and away to the boundary for four. Bit of a thick inside edge, but only a couple of men out, so it's going to race away. I wouldn't be too disheartened. Right through the offside this time, poor fielding. It's going to cost him four more. That is not good enough. Really, really poor. Yeah, Wahab. Oh, there's pace off the ball, off the bat. Brilliant from the Spice Man. Cannon off the bat. Well, he might have an injured quad, but. Gone again, six more, into the wind or not. He's got the power. Run! Oh, it's gone racing past point. Doesn't hit the end of the ground too much. Well, 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 I don't think he picked it up. That's exactly what all my report cards at school said. That's it! This one should be out. This one should be out. Straight down the throat into the wind just too much yeah it is a bigger boundary that side we've got to get it out of the middle Afif Hussain doesn't as I mentioned previously he likes hitting that sort of striking is needed lots of it yeah it's really important for the Bangla Tigers and the bats batters that are out there but they can practice exactly that being able to move their feet and to try and hit sixes again and again. Back to back, maximum. Chirac. Yeah, so clean. And nice and straight in the V. So a big over, 17 runs so far. Now, this is challenging. Oh, it's gone all the way. We've had three of them in the over. Look at how the bat swivels in his hands. Oh, there's four as well. It was a big no ball that was called. Poran hit one for 32. There's still two to go, Lee Sister Laker. Challenge, challenge, and goal. Oh, it's a pin ball out there. And you can see why. Where are we? Fat City. And this is bold right in the slot. He actually stepped deep into his crease. Just waited. Waited for the perfect swing. Great contact. Oh, it's inside out. That's uh, really nice for six. Last ball of the previous oh. over really is a handsome cricket stroke a little bit of a shimmy to leg but the inside out and the orthodox nature up and away enough on it is there oh no yeah he camped perfectly didn't he right on the boundary waiting for it but then was just too from wayne parnell and it's a nice strike and it's gone all the way rather sweetly. Oh, it's a beautiful full one. Yeah, and given. Goes deep in his crease, just covering his off stump within the first couple of overs. Remember, this is a free hit. And it's gone all the way. More. And more. And there it goes. 
Races away for four. Gerard Suri, the fact that this is the third tournament that he's played in, in 2018, his strike rate was 100. Oh, it's a beauty. Stand and deliver. More from Moore as he's striking it nicely. I, I, I really reckon that the umpires, especially in the shorter format, need to have some protective gear on, whether it be a helmet or a shield, like Bruce Oxenford has. Last ball of match 11. <laughs> and you're going to have to hobble up the other end, Tommy Moores, for all your uh, efforts there and your trouble. So in summary, the Warriors, way too good in terms of uh, that 162 for four posted, was uh, always going to be very, very challenging. And the Tigers, as Lisa Stalaker said, stayed in the hunt. They ended up falling by 30 because they got 132 for three. Thanks to Fletcher and Sherard there. Very, very good win for the Warriors again.